exaggeration here, my leg was just flopping off. It was hanging about. There was nothing attaching it. They saw me eventually. I waited a long time. They saw me. They x-rayed me. Um, and they told me at the time that there was no damage. There was no damage to any part of my, my leg. But the guy doing the scan came to me after he said, look, he said, I am not a doctor. He said, but I do these scans nearly every day. And he said, you have got some serious damage and you need some help. You need help now. Obviously, at this point, at this point, I was never, ever stepping on stage ever again. But there's implications with my children, lifestyle. There was, there was a lot. You're not a bodybuilder until you've done what me and you have done and what other people do and you step on stage until you've taken yourself out. I know people who want to be bodybuilders and they get to four weeks out and they can't do it. Heard this was a conversation heard by my children's mum at the time because I was on loudspeaker and he rang me like someone out of the mafia and told me that if I wanted help and care in York again, then I should wind my neck in and not think about doing a complaint. After I stopped tech, I weaned myself off them and I used the gym and I used my daily routine. And I used my training and my consistency to sort my head out, which is why I don't see why everyone in the world isn't training. I remember waking up again. I was start bollock naked in this room where yeah. I didn't know where I was. I was comatose. Yeah. And I think the real the real point of what had happened was that obviously I was, I was bandaged up and scarred, but I woke up naked. Yeah. And I really needed the toilet. And I remember needing the toilet, mm. so I buzzed. And I remember two two ladies came in to carry me to the toilet, start by the naked. <laughs> and uh, my, um, what's the correct way to say it? My male parts were yes. so black and swollen. I mean, it was massive, mate. <laughs> so big, right? <laughs> I wish it stayed like that. No, it got apart. But I remember, I remember, I went to have a pee, and they were holding me up, and I was peeing everywhere. I was literally peeing oh, really? all over the floor. So, oh, so no. this nurse, bless her, had to hold my penis and point it into the toilet. <laughs>